Sandy morning, friends. I hope you're doing well this day. Boy, it's been such a week. We had pastor's retreat the first part of the week. We had teen retreat the second part of the week. I'm retreated out. Oh, but we had some good lessons and some good stuff I'm going to share with you in the days ahead. Thanks so much to Michael Stanley for his help and to the Webs for their their uh, guest leadership with us Sunday. We uh, are grateful for our friends across the years. Today we're going to talk about the basics. The first thing you need to know as a believer is that Jesus loves you more than you know and that God created you for a purpose and a plan. So I'm just going to read scripture and it's some of the best anywhere. Psalm 139, please hear the word of the Lord this morning. You have searched me, O Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand on me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the night light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Going on down to the prayer I would offer for you for today. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. I tell you, friends, I would recommend that each and every day of your life, that you hear God's word, and you hear God's love to you, and you live that out in your life. And so I ask you today to realize that God loves you and knows you. There's nothing hidden from the Lord. And the Lord is able to work in your past and your present to create a glorious future. Let's pray. Lord, forgive us when we forget that you are the one who knows us and loves us best. Forgive us when we think that you are ready to hurt us or punish us instead of to provide blessing and love as we seek your path. And help us, Lord, to with you search our hearts each and every day and to make sure our steps are in line with the Savior. For we ask it in his name. Amen. Thanks for your participation today. I pray that this encourages you and helps you to trust in God. Tomorrow morning at 8.30, we have our weekly breakfast together at Grits and Greens in Lowell. We would love to have you there with us. And then Wednesday night at 7, we will have Bible study. Uh, we'll be going through Chapter 3, A Fresh Wind, Fresh Fire. And we would love to have you either at church or online. The online link is bit.ly slash capital E, capital S, 20 adults. And we'd love to see you either at church or online for that. Have a wonderful day. God knows you and loves you, and so do we.